Good morning. So it's a really rainy day out and I'm going to be working on um, making a mock-up for a shirt for my boyfriend today. Mm. Yeah, so I think I may try to pattern it on some brown paper first um, and then cut it out just so that I can see the fit for ahead of time. So about a year ago in my town, they banned um, plastic bags and most stores were doing bring your own or they would charge for a paper shopping bag, which is super annoying. But since Corona and you're not allowed to bring your own shopping bag and plastic bags are banned, we have lots of paper bags um, in this household. So I've been using them as patterning paper and I think the stores must have run out of their branded bags because these are just like brown on both sides. So that's even better. Um, but yeah, and then this is the muslin I got. And this is from um, Nick's mom and um, she, she just sent this to me because I was out of muslin and my stuff from Joann's hadn't come in yet. So I'm going to draw out the pattern and then I'll transfer it onto that muslin. Sometimes I hate patterning. I love mock-ups and I love fittings, but I hate patterning. Math. It's not my favorite. Drawing shapes on paper doesn't make sense to my brain. So I had to look up a quick tutorial on how to do the patterning. Cause like I know for a woman, but like for guys, it should be the same, but I don't know. I just, ugh, I needed some help. So I looked up a thing, I made it, but it's too short in the top. So I'm gonna just like extend that a little bit. And then um, I think once I do that, it should be better. Okay, so this is it. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut across here and extend it upwards um, by a couple inches. And I think that should be better. I don't know why I made this so, part so short. Like, obviously, that's not going to be enough armhole. And you can see when I lay it against this dress shirt, which fits in pretty well. Um, but there's a few issues, including the sleeves aren't long enough. I lay down on here. It looks pretty good, uh, but then it's way too short, so um, I'm going to have to adjust that. Okay, so I just extended that by two inches, and it's already looking much better. I think I am going to change this curve slightly. I'm going to like lower this just a little bit to get that angle of the shoulder, um, but we'll see. I'll try this on him again. And then now I just need to make the back piece. Um, which is going to be similar, but obviously the armhole is going to be, I think, a little bit bigger in the back. Um, I need to do that measurement. And then pattern the sleeve and then make the mock-up. So we'll see how this goes. Okay. I got the front and the back done, and now I'm just doing the sleeve. And we'll see how that turns out. Okay, so I pressed all my muslin, as you can see over here. I'll bring you over here, but the lighting is really bad. Um, mm, it's so crisp. All right, looking pretty good here. All right, so it the armhole. My camera won't focus. The armhole ended up being too far outward, so I had to move that in slightly, and I'm gonna carve that around. Um, the underarm is actually pretty good, though. It's a pretty good height. I don't think I'll have to lower that, um, especially once that seam allowance is trimmed. Um, I'm definitely taking the sides a little bit. The front fits pretty well. The, the neck hole fits fantastic. Turn, 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 turn. Thank you. And that looks good. Again, the armhole just needs to come in a little bit. It was too far out. Um, I pinned in these darts and those look good. On the at, final thing, I'm going to add a yoke, obviously, across the back here, but um, I am going to do that once I finish this. Because it's easy to make a yoke out of a sloper, but trying to fit a yoke is a little more challenging, so I'd rather just do it this way. But yeah, it looks pretty good. Okay, so 
I'm just like drawing out the new lines on the fabric and I drew out the darts you probably can't see I drew out the darts so those look good um, I just finished my fitting with Nicholas and it's looking pretty good I have to make a few little adjustments but actually nothing too big which I was feeling annoyed about the adjustments that I had to make but then I think about all the adjustments I had to make when I did my sloper and it's actually I did okay so that's good Nick brought me a snack because I needed sustenance chips and mango okay. second fitting it looks pretty good fits much better that shoulder slant is so much cleaner I'm still gonna bring in this slightly more just because it's a little snug like down here um, but it's a good length in the armhole the back looks really nice yeah this, this looks good um, those darts look very nice. I'm happy with the darts. Super happy with the darts. I ended up taking a lot out. But yeah, overall it looks really good. And pretty soon we're going to be ready for the sleeves. Okay guys, can we just have a moment of appreciation for this beautiful piece of muslin? Freshly starched. Oh yeah, I love me some crunchy muslin. All right, I'm gonna pattern this out. All right, I patterned out the sleeve, so hopefully this one fits a little bit better. I don't know if you can see the lines very well, but I'm going to cut this out and then do a fitting. All right, next day, I just sewed the sleeve in and there was a little bit too much height in the calf, so I took that out. Um, and then I ended up carving in the back a little bit more, um, but it fits really, really nicely, so I'm happy with that. And then, ooh, sorry. And then I am taking in the sleeve. Obviously, I knew that sleeve was going to be too big, so. Um, but the last one was too small, so I ate it <coughs> really massive. Um, but yeah, otherwise, it looks really good. It fits really well, so we're happy with it. All good. I literally changed day from one pair of pajamas to another. Oh, yeah. I'm eating a maple cookie right now. Ooh, that's way overexposed. I'm eating a maple cookie right now from Trader Joe's. They're literally the best. Maple cookies are so good. Okay, so I am gonna press this. Wow, it's so big. It's literally like a dress on me. But anyway, this is the back of the shirt and I'm gonna press it and then I'm gonna transfer all the markings over to my paper pattern. And then I'm gonna do the same for the front and the sleeve. I have to lengthen the sleeve a little bit and then I'm going to cut it out of my mock-up, my wearable mock-up material. So this is kind of cool. This is my seam ripper. It's, um, it was made by a local, um, wood worker and my boyfriend got it for me. So it's pretty cool. It, it switches out like that and he drilled a hole in one side too so I can carry it on a string if I want. But yeah, I love this little seam ripper. So basically what I'm doing is I'm just going to take out these darts and then I'm going to starch the fabric so that it just is stiff again and easy to transfer those markings over. So let's see if I can get this open. This is my starch. So I'm just going to spritz it on. And iron. Ooh, pretty. And you can see how nice and crisp that fabric gets. So much easier to work with.
Okay, so the pattern is almost done. I have the sleeve. I have the collar, which I'm going to have to do a fitting on, but it should be good. I followed a tutorial on how to draft a collar. I've never done that before. Well, actually, that's not true. I have drafted a collar before, but in not in this method. So that went really well. And now I'm just going to create the yoke, and I'll show you how to do that. It should be pretty quick and easy. Okay, here's what I'm doing. I'm taking a piece of tape. I'm just going to tape this shoulder seam together. There's no seam allowance here, so we're good for that. I'm going to tape this. Ooh. All right. Let's bring that around. And then I'm moving this shoulder seam just ever so slightly forward. Um, I just think it looks better. So let's see, should I do an inch forward? Yeah, that should work. So I'm moving my shoulder seam there. And then I think I want my yoke to be here. You see that? So let's just make sure that's straight. Yeah, so that's good. So now I just cut these pieces apart. Done. All right. Ooh, guys, this linen is so crisp. I'm just tracing around this pattern and then I'll draw out my seam allowances. And this is a fun little trick. So I cut out my dart so that, and because my paper is pretty stiff, I can just trace my dart right on to my fabric. So I love that. Ooh, getting it all drawn out and pretty soon I'll just be cutting all these pieces out. I'm super excited. So it's dark out, I'm not sure how well this video is going to come out, um, but basically I have all my pieces cut out and I just sewed together the darts in the back. So now I'm going to attach the yoke and then the front. Yeah. Okay, so I sewed the yoke on and now I'm going to just press it upwards and it's two layers obviously, but I'm just going to press that upwards and then top stitch it across. Okay guys, I gotta go to bed. I have one sleeve in and I'm gonna do the fitting um, just with that one sleeve in before I insert the second one, just in case. Um, and I have the collar and it actually fits so well. I'm gonna have to link the tutorial for that, um, for drafting the collar below because it was super easy and highly recommend. Um, but yeah, it looks so good. I'm so happy with it. Uh, I hope Nick loves it. I'm so excited, you guys. <laughs> this Also, this collar looks huge. Wait, I have to show, just show you how big this shirt is on me. I don't actually think of myself as a tiny person, so I think this is a little... Oh. Yeah, I think of myself as like, I don't know, not huge, but like I take up a lot of space, and so I forget sometimes how much bigger my boyfriend is than I am. This is like, honestly, I could attach a little cuff and a waistband, and it would make a pretty cute little dress, I think. <laughs> but this, I mean, this collar is massive on me. It's so funny. Uh, well, I'm super excited about this, but I do need to go to bed because it's past 9 o'clock and I am a grandma who likes to go to bed early, so <laughs> I gotta put this away, but yeah, I'm super excited, so day three, hopefully we'll get it finished. Oh, such a nice vest. Yeah, it's really pretty. Oh, uh, this shirt looks so good. Stand still. All right, sleeve fits really nicely. I'm happy with that. Um, collar is just pinned in, but it looks 
so good. Although Nicholas is making me sh make it a little smaller. Just like take a tiny bit out. He says it's too thick, which I kind of agree with. I just don't want to do the work. Um, <laughs> this looks good. Fits really nicely. Turn around. Okay, this is what I'm most proud of. Oh, it looks so good. The collar looks nice. The yoke looks nice. Darts look nice. Everything looks nice. Ugh, just needs a cuff and some like finishing details. And a, a sleeve. Bunch of buttonholes. Yeah, another sleeve. Um, I need to finish the collar. It's got some stuff I need to do, but it's looking really good and I'm so happy with it. Okay, yeah, if you look at it this way, you can just kind of imagine that there's another sleeve on there <laughs> and it looks really good. So we're very happy with it. I'm very happy with it. All right, that's it. So it's pretty much done. Um, other than the buttons and the buttonholes and all that, that needs to be finished off. And the cuffs need to be top stitched around the edge, but it's just like a few finishing things that needs to be trimmed off. Um, but yeah. I'm really, really happy with it. Okay, so my camera ran out of storage at that point, but I really wanna show you the pattern pieces real quick um, before I end this video. So, this right here is the front pattern piece, and I haven't drawn anything on it yet, but front pattern piece. This is the back pattern piece. And that's how I can trace the dart as you saw in the video. Sleeve pattern piece. Yoke pattern piece. Cuff. Collar and collar stand. So those are all, oh, and there was a piece for the placket, but I didn't actually use a pattern for that. Yeah, so those are all the pieces. So we're gonna be doing a grand reveal for sure. Um, I'm actually making, I have to alter Nick's pants, and Nick's dress pants, and I'm making a dress that's gonna kinda go with this. Um, also out of linen so I'll show you, I'll hopefully show you some of that process I'm really excited about this it was a fun project and I'm definitely gonna be saving this pattern and remaking it in the future so if you have any questions just let me know and any feedback anything like that definitely you know subscribe and go follow me on Instagram um, yeah so thanks for watching bye